Sixth place faced off against top of the table as Gloucester hosted Harlequins at King's home. The hosts were looking for revenge after losing out to Quinns at home in the Heineken Cup. And it was Freddie Burns who got the ball rolling with a penalty after just two minutes. The Cherry and Whites tightened the screw after nine minutes. Some smart angles by James Simpson Daniel giving Charlie Sharples the easiest of run-ins. Burns converted to give Gloucester a ten-point lead. Quinns were not to be bullied though and got back into the game with two Nick Evans penalties. Then a quite brilliant score from Johnny May that only Johnny May could conjure. Going nowhere, the fullback seemed to jump off both feet before accelerating through the Quinns midfield and outstripping all comers to cross in the corner. Burns missed the conversion but added a penalty on 34 minutes to give the hosts an 18-6 lead. Quinns had looked threatening going forward but had all the chances snuffed out. But just before half-time, a perfect Nick Evans grubber was collected by Ross Chisholm to score under the post. Evans converted but the dominant Gloucester pack had the last say of the half forcing another Burns penalty to give the hosts a 21-13 lead at the interval. Evans and Burns traded penalties after the break, but the Cherry and Whites all but sealed it when Akapusi Nguera was put in by Ryan Mills to extend the lead to 29-16. With the shackles off, both sides threw the ball about with Gloucester after the try bonus point and Quinn's the losing bonus point. Neither side could break through until the final minute when Chisholm ran the length to set up Evans for the bonus point. The reliable Kiwi nailed the conversion, which included his 1,000th point in Quinn's colours and what could turn out to be a very precious bonus point. Final score at King's home, Gloucester 29, Harlequins 23.